it's based on a book written by a man who's, who was very close to Manmohan Singh. I can Absolutely. say whatever I want. I can criticize whoever I want. Mr. Sanjay Varu has never received a legal notice. He's never been taken to court. Mm -hmm. You have defamed someone or you have said something which is completely dishonest. Hello and welcome to Nissan Times Online. This is Martini. My name is Sandeep. It would be an exaggeration to say that the guest that I have with me today is an underdog of sorts, Mr. Akshay Khanna. Hello, Akshay. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you. Uh, Akshay, at the very outset, let me ask you, uh, what, let me, I mean, I actually want to get a uh, hang of the kind of mindset that you had while you kind of uh, did what you did in the film. I was, uh, shooting of the film, I will always remember as a very happy time in my life. Mm -hmm. It was a very uh, enjoyable experience. As we started shooting, I really loved the way my director was using me. Mm -hmm. uh, the way he was using everyone actually. Mm -hmm. uh, his actors, I'm talking about. But not only the actors, even his technicians, his cameramen, such, uh, Sachin Krishnan. Uh, the work that he has removed from the crew and the cast, that is a, his achievement. The his director's achievement. Director's achievement. Even with the, my part, he told me from the very onset, he was like, I have a very, very, very precise vision mm -hmm. of what I want you to do, how I want you to look. And you just understand that vision of mine and then play with it. And when a director, no matter how old he is, whether it's his first film or his hundredth film, it doesn't matter. If he has a very, very distinct vision, means he's already seen the film in his head. Absolutely. You have to respect that. Otherwise, exactly, th it won't things go wrong. Exactly. So, it was, uh, he made life very easy for me. And not only easy, very enjoyable. Because it's a very enjoyable character. I see. It's a very, it's a very lovable character. Let us take uh, the accidental Prime Minister into concern and the book written by Mr. Baru. Since the trailer release, the, the trailer has been quoting so many controversies. Uh, people have, I mean, people who don't really belong to the film fraternity, people who do not really know what filmmaking is all about, are commenting against the film and uh, some kind of uh, political propaganda that's just ensuing from nowhere. What do you have to say about that? Uh, I mean, is it justified for that matter? Yeah, if it's justified or not justified, that I don't know. But it's a very natural thing mm -hmm. for if a political film and that to a film which is a first of its kind. Absolutely. Uh, if that suddenly comes in the public domain, there's bound to be political uh, okay. commentary about it, political reactions towards it, in favour, not in favour. People should be allowed to watch the film, this film should be banned. Those debates will happen. Mm -hmm. But today, is today, five years down the line, ten years down the line, after say another 15, 20 political films are released, authentic political films mm -hmm. are released, authentic stories, authentic character, those reactions will be, will be much, much less than what it is today. But so it's very natural, it's the first time it's happening, it has bound to be very strong reactions. It has to happen. If it didn't happen, then, it then happen. there was a problem. Yeah. Definitely, it is something new. Mm -hmm. And when something new comes, it, people take time to adjust to it, to kind of reconcile to it. In the West, for example, there's a film coming on uh, Dick Cheney. Mm -hmm. He's now quite in the next... There's no uh, political controversy or anything in America. It's a film. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you make a film on Lincoln, or you make a film on the Queen of England, yeah, uh, it's not a big deal. You make they've made Darker Star on Winston Churchill. So, what do you think is the reason behind making this? It's new. Today, if I want, I can write a book about politics. I can criticize anybody. Nobody will say anything. I can go on TV every day and in the evening. You switch on your TV. People are criticizing governments. People are opposing. This politician, that politician, they're praising this one. That you can, nobody is, it's every day it's happening. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So everybody has, tomorrow if, you, if, I'm, if I'm a, if I write articles, I'm a writer, I want to write an article in the paper, I can write an article in, in the Hindustan Times. I can absolutely. say whatever I want. 
I can criticize whoever I want. Absolutely. But why is that freedom not there with films? It should be there. It should be. There is no reason why it should not be. It's taken a long time. Absolutely. But doesn't mean that uh, our audiences should be denied those films. Our audiences watch what happens in the White House, what happens in 10 Downing Street, what happens here. We've seen everything. But we've not seen our own Prime Minister. A film about our own po politicians. Exactly, exactly. They are very important people. Yeah, films should they be are. made about yeah, them. Yeah, Why absolutely. not? And if you make a mature, responsible film, it's based on a book written by a man who's, who was very close to Manmohan Singh. It's not a... It's not that the film has no credibility whatsoever. It has a lot of credibility. Absolutely. And it has been made with a lot of... Uh, conviction. Not conviction, but honesty. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's what is in the book. Rule number one, don't stray from the book. Because it's based on the book. And that is, Vijay has been very clear about that from day one. And he has not strayed from the book. So, in that sense, I don't mean to sound serious or anything, mm -hmm. but in that sense, there has, uh, Mr. Sanjay Baru has never received a legal notice. He's never been taken to court. Mm -hmm. you, you have defamed someone or you have said something which is completely dishonest. No, he's not received it. Had he, if he was in some legal mess, then this film would my producer back. would have never yeah. gone and bought the rights to the book. Absolutely. It's not possible. So, Whatever he has written is his personal account of what he experienced in the Prime Minister's office. And uh, uh, he went and he told uh, uh, the Prime Minister that I'm putting this on paper. I'm putting it into black and white. He said, do it. What do you understand from the, what do you actually take away from, from your portrayal? I mean, how difficult was no, it? How easy it, was it? It's very... Uh, yeah, now to say that it was easy, uh, uh, filmmaking is not an easy uh, process. It's a very difficult process. Mm -hmm. It's a very cumbersome process. It's a very time consuming process. It is. Uh, and uh, when everything fits into place and it really does. It does actually quite often, but it's, it's a very uh, satisfying experience. Uh, especially when you, uh, you have a connection with your uh, director, you have that connect with him. Uh, it becomes very creatively uh, satisfying and uh, very enjoyable as an actor. So how difficult was it for you to kind of get into the character and then coming out of the character once the director said as I As I said, my director never wanted me to talk like Baru, walk like Baru, dress like Baru. Okay. He didn't want anything. He wanted to make his own character. I see. Right. Because that's the only character that he could play around with. You mm -hmm. can't play around with Manmohan Singh. Absolutely. You can't play around with uh, uh, with other the other main character, other characters, important characters, mm -hmm. because they're all real characters. People know them. Mm -hmm. People have watched them for decades. Absolutely. Uh, they've been studied. Books have been written about them. Hundreds of books have been written about them. Uh, millions of articles, analysis about their political policies, about their lives, about every, everything is in the public domain, they're in our blood. So you can't play around with those characters. But this character is a relatively less known character. Mm -hmm. So he, he, he wanted to play around with this character because Vijay is at the end of the day, he, he, he creates characters. Okay. He, he's a director, mm -hmm. he's a writer. So. He was very clear. I don't want you to be anything like the real Baru. What about the futile propaganda that's going on? I mean, is that even There's nothing necessary? I can do about it. But then, There's don't nothing you think I a film do. should be left alone? As in a film is a film is a film. It is no, predominantly why, why, why? 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 Yeah? There should be commentary about what people feel. Tomorrow if you uh, if I write a book or uh, I make uh, whatever, anything that comes into the public domain, has anybody has full freedom to debate it? Do they agree with it? Do they not agree with it? So many things. All right. Finally, what is uh, that last statement that you want to, I mean, perhaps give to your audience? Uh, there's no statement I want to give to the audience. There's yeah. no <laughs> gyan I want to bato. But definitely I would like to say that yeah, we are the largest democracy in the world. Yeah. We are a fantastic, vibrant people, vibrant democracy. We should make films on our politicians. Yeah. Absolutely. They are, they, are, uh, they are public people. They take decisions at the highest level. Uh, 
uh, they, they, these are the people who affect the, uh, the, the a nation of 1.3 or a lot of people. They films, responsible films, mm -hmm. must be made on them. They should be made in, in many more numbers than are being made now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was the very eloquent uh, Mr. Akshay Khanna. My name is Sandeep, which in the Sun Times Online, Desi Martini. Thank you so much.